My name is Ana Vera. I am the board of director, one of the, the president of the board of directors for Art Expression for San Joaquin. Well, you know, I've been around with Art Expression since its inception in 2013. So I've been around for six years. Oh, wow, that's quite a while now. <laughs> I didn't realize it. Time went by fast. Um, personally, I don't. I am not an artist. I just love art. I'm an art supporter. And my husband is an artist, so I've been around art for many, many years. What we do is we, we sort of dress up the city with art. We have art at different venues uh, throughout the city just to bring more awareness to the art. So I wish there was more younger artists that would join our group because my, my focus is to have the veteran artists, the more seasoned artists, mentor the young up and coming artists. And so I would I wish there was more younger artists that would join our group. Hi, my name is Alicia Valenzuela and I've been part of our expression networking since October of last year. Annie Leonard who does a lot of work in education and awareness of environmental issues. So she's the person behind the story of stuff. And so even though that's more environmentally related, I feel like the story that she told has impacted me to think outside of the box in terms of the social, political, and environmental issues that I'm passionate about. And so as an artist, I want to tell a story about stuff as well that is really impactful and you have a lot of content behind it. So not with this piece in particular, but I'm dabbling with materials that are either um, being reused or refurbished. And uh, I've collected many bottle caps to do bottle cap murals. And so I'm trying to do, um, with the forethought of cradle to cradle, is my piece going to be used and recycled? I don't want it to end up as a permanent thing. Um, if it's not going to be a final, you know, fine art piece. So how can I work with the type of component? If it's going to be, you know, wood-based, metal, or plastic, can I actually transform it into something else? So that's what I'm trying to do with my future artwork. That is probably a key component of my reasons for involving youth is, um, Speaking about the mental health component as well as just personal benefits of self-expression. And um, I mentor nine students currently at Weber Institute uh, with my friend and colleague Luz Lua. So I come in every Monday and they stay after school with me to work on some projects. And so with mentorship or coming in as a guest uh, teacher, I hope to inspire they can do art as a career, they can do it on the side, but it's definitely a part of them that they can't give up on. 